Today's outcrop for the day is a testament to the extraordinary crystallizing power of pyrite. This is a metamorphic quartzite and it is hard. But pyrite has managed to grow some perfectly shaped crystals inside the rock. If you want to grow perfect crystals of most minerals, you need to grow them in open space. But pyrite, along with arsenopyrite and a couple of titanium minerals, have the extraordinary ability to just push other minerals aside and still grow their perfect shape inside a rock. Why is that important? Because if you're out looking for mineral deposits for other metals, lead, zinc, copper, then it's really important to tell the difference between alteration and infill because pyrite can grow in the alteration but the other important minerals like sphalerite, galena and chalcopyrite almost always grow in open space. We're actually in the alteration halo of a bigger structure that's just over there so let's go and have a look at that so here we are on the structure that's causing that alteration and you can see there's some quartz veins going up along the center of the structure and if I look hard enough on this piece here I can see some little crystals of quartz growing in there and quartz is one of those minerals that really does need open space to grow perfect crystals so I can be certain that these veins grew into open space. Why is that important? Because this black, brown, shapeless mineral here is gotten after chalcopyrite. If you're out looking for copper, lead or zinc or even gold, then you really do need to know the difference between open space, infill and alteration. Most of the time, perfect crystals of some kind are a good guide, but just don't be fooled by pyrite because it can form perfect crystals in the alteration. You want the open space in the structure.